Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Now I did want to put out a video for you guys um, because I want to use the power of this uh, Lionsgate portal that is happening on the 8th, which you guys will probably see this video on the 8th in the morning as it will be going up. Um, and I wanted to be able to show through my guides um, revealing to me what is it that you can expect with this Lion, Lion's Gate portal for each of the zodiac signs, okay? Now, if you guys don't know, it's the 8-8 portal um, that is open, um, that happens, right, astrologically. It happens, it opens up around the 8th all the way to the 12th of August. And it is about uh, the pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx and their perfectly alignment with the stars, specifically um, Orion's belt, um, where there is a specific moment in the astrological year when that alignment happens. And it aligns with the top of the pyramids. And this is the 8-8 uh, Lion's Gate portal. Uh, so master manifestors uh, use this time frame. Uh, when it comes to manifestations as it, it, think of it as recharging, right? Um, recharging your manifestation at like the quadruple of its power. So it is very important for you guys to put your manifestations out there around this time um, because they have a profound way of coming into fruition at a very quick pace, okay? So what we're doing here with this energy is I want to see what you, which each one of your signs can expect for the next um, coming days. I want to see what this portal is going to bring to you guys, what opportunities are coming your way so that you can fully take advantage of it and help yourself realign yourself with your power and fully be able to embrace those opportunities that are coming in okay so we're gonna go into it give me one second we are going to Begin here, of course, with Leo, as it is Leo season. For those of you guys that are Leos, brightest of blessings on your birthday, my loves. Wish you guys all the best. All right, we call upon all my wise and loving spirit, guide spirits of light and love, ascended master spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here, sense view, and receive the messages. Allow me to tap into my abilities. Show me, reveal to me what each of the zodiac signs can expect, what this Lion's Gate portal is going to be bringing to them what is it that is coming towards them what is it that they can expect we're going to begin here with leo as it is leo season we're going to begin here with leo sun moon rising venus let's see what is coming for my leos for this alliance gate portal that is happening tomorrow august 8th 2024 Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. If you guys like these videos, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are interested in any personal services, any readings, any spiritual work, you can find all of those links on the description box below. All right. All right, Leo, what I'm seeing for you guys is a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing people coming back from your past. And we are specifically talking about romance and love. That's if you're not already experiencing that. Um, what I'm seeing here is there is a bit of entanglement when it comes to energies. And when I say entanglements, I feel like for some of you guys, you may not even be dealing with this people anymore. But at some point in time, you were very much emotionally invested in these connections. I see them returning and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may already be experiencing this. Now, the opportunity within this is that for some of you guys, it's giving you the closure that you needed 
or perhaps for some of you guys, even if like you haven't heard from them in like a year, two years, whatnot, and you've convinced yourself that you moved on, even if you are currently in a relationship, I feel like you still on a subconscious level are still carrying that energy, that wanting to know or the wanting to get some type of clarification. I feel like you guys are going to be handed that. That's going to be, again, I feel them coming back around and wanting to give you closure. For some of you guys, it is a specific ex returning where they did you wrong, Leo, or they could have walked away from this connection not realizing the significance of the connection in their life and the, the connection with you. Um, and I feel like they're realizing that and they're coming back around. Now, for some of you, there is a rekindling or there is a reconnecting of a relationship that was a partnership at some point in time. I do see you guys revisiting that. And for a lot of you guys, and I know a lot of you guys probably don't want to hear this. For a lot of you guys, what I'm seeing is that one person that you feel like like the one that got away or the one that you could have like i'm hearing the one that got away so for some of you guys it could have been the person that you love the most um or the person that you really tried you know and it just didn't work out i feel like you guys are revisiting the past and for some of you there is a reconciliation that's happening now, what I do want to mention is I'm not talking about exes that were very low vibration. I'm not talking about exes that cheated on you. I'm talking about specifically people that you were emotionally invested in or that you dated or that you were in a long-term committed relationship and it just felt like it fell apart. So this could have been situation, a circumstance. It could have been like life took both of you guys on separate ways, separate paths, that type of energy. I'm not talking about people that, you know, were low vibration. I'm talking to those that you felt like you, you may still even feel like you still love this person. This person had such major impact in your life. For some of you guys, this connection happened around a time in your life where you were really going through it or you were really experiencing a lot of like life changes. Um, and it almost feels like kind of like destiny or life took you guys on different paths. So that's the people that I'm seeing returning. Now, this doesn't have to be just romantic. It could be people that you were extremely close with at some point and you guys just had a falling out. I see a reconnection, a rekindling for some of you guys, it is an actual reconciliation, even if you've been in separation for the past five years. Okay, so you can definitely expect that. All right, moving on. Let's see what Virgo can expect for this Lionsgate portal that's opening up for them, spirits. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? If you guys like these videos, comment below. Let me know so I can keep them coming for you guys. We have tons of new videos as well as spell videos going up. I'm going to try to stick to Fridays for witchcraft and spell work. And the rest of the days are going to be for tarot readings, okay? So you guys comment, let me know if you guys like that idea so I can try to stick to that. I'm also going to be going live more often. I know I keep saying that and my schedule just been has been extremely crazy. Um, still trying to catch up with consultations. So for all of you guys that have been purchasing consultations, I will be reaching out to you guys in the next two days uh, to schedule your appointments. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they can expect? What's coming towards them? What is coming towards them? What is the um, Lionsgate portal bringing to them? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Virgo. Let's see what you can expect, my loves. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Virgo, I see you guys really woholy. Holy moly. Okay. I see you guys could have been dealing with a almost a feeling of unrequited love 
or a connection where you were putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy towards this connection, even though you felt it was one sided. Um, now I see them and I, they're showing me like they're watching you. So they could be watching your socials. They could be watching you on social media. They could even be a bit surprised um, either because of what they're seeing that you're posting or because they're realizing that you, in fact, do have admirers and do have like they do have competition. Um, I felt like they were very comfortable. But what I'm seeing here is in alignment that's happening. So again, if you were dealing with someone that was giving you hot and cold, or if you were dealing with someone that you felt was hiding something from you, like they weren't being completely honest, they weren't putting as much effort, this person is experiencing and is going through a realization of your worth. And it's unfortunate because the worth that they're seeing in you is, it's almost as if they're realizing that now that you, they do have competition, it's like you've become more valuable. And that's the fuck the part about it. You know what I mean? Like, why do they have to wait to see that other, others want you in order for them to want to come hard towards you? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, why do they have to wait to see that you are valuable and that you are worthy? Um, now, what I'm seeing here is, again, the returning of this person. Um, I'm seeing I'm seeing them coming back around and wanting to put the effort and the energy only because, like I said, they've experienced seeing a different light or a different aspect to you. And that's what's made you more desirable for them. Now, for others of you, if you're dealing with this situation and recently or in the next coming days, you start dealing with, for some of you guys, it could be a Cancer, it could be a Pisces, it could be a Capricorn, it could be a Taurus or a fire energy. I pretty much see all the signs here. But what they're showing me here is that around the time that this person wants to come back around, universe is bringing to you a connection that is going to completely transform your life, Virgo. So there is an alignment that's happening. There is, think of it as the universe bringing to you the person that is worthy of you, um, the person that is a, a much better match for you, but it's going to come at the cost of you walking away from what you know is toxic and just doesn't work. So for a lot of you Virgos, you're realizing and I'm talking about like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with like you could be dating someone the past year, the past two years. You could have been in this relationship like for the past six years or seven years for some of you guys. And you're wanting some type of commitment, but they're just not giving it to you. I don't see them giving you that commitment. And you're having that realization around this Lionsgate portal. And you're also realizing that there is an alignment or a shift in alignment that's happening within you where now you understand that you deserve better and you're willing to embrace the new opportunities that the universe is bringing to you. For a lot of you guys, it could be a Capricorn, um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, um, or another Earth energy. But what I am seeing is, again, it's like, it's if you want, when we're talking about relationships, if you're wanting commitment, the end all be all, it's you're going to get that the universe is bringing that to you. It may manifest in the next coming days for you where a person just walks into your life and you hit it off with them. They're going to play a very important role in your life for the next coming years. However, that's going to come at the cost of you walking away from the old version of yourself. And that is leaving things from the past in the past. So be mindful of that, Virgo, because Again, I feel like this is a cycle that you guys have been dealing with or have kind of went through when it comes to relationships. And there is a definite ending of a karmic cycle for a lot of you guys. OK, so again, choose yourself and walk away from anything that is not working for you. Virgo, stop holding on to it. Embrace the new beginnings that are coming your way, because think of it as the universe giving you a big ass, you know, making you a big ass solid and uh, holding you down and bringing to you what they want, what you want, I mean. But you got it. You got to just let go. Stop holding on to things that drag you down. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. 
what is this Lion's Gates portal bringing to Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's coming towards Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Libra. Let's see what you guys can expect, what is unfolding for you. All right, let's get to the needy greedy. All right, Libra, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation or a connection or a relation. You guys are definitely having an awakening here. Um, if you've been dealing with a person or you've been in a relationship or you've been seeing a person that has multiple times let you down or has cheated on you, you've been trying to work really hard to fix the relationship, but you can fix it when you're still hurting. You can fix it when you're still holding on to things from the past. Now, I know that's easier said than done, but what they're showing me here is that you're still putting effort. The universe is stepping in. It's going to give you that push that you need to realize that you've outgrown the situation or that you've outgrown this connection. For a lot of you guys, you're having the realization that you don't love yourself enough the way you've convinced yourself that you do. And something is going to happen in the next coming days where you're going to be forced to realize like, oh my God, like I've really allowed or I've really put my guard down or I've really allowed this person to like try to walk all over me and I'm just not fucking having it at this point. You are hitting, you're hitting that point where there's no turning back. And I feel like this person is doing you a solid because they will be revealing something to you or you will be finding out about certain things they've been doing behind your back. And you're walking away from that. Finally, you're closing that cycle and you're moving on. The moment you move on, you're aligning yourself to your purpose. And I see commitment for a lot of you guys. You have the four of wands, the six of swords, the death card and the sun. So there's a major transformation that's going to be happening for a lot of you Libras. Keep in mind, we have been experiencing, obviously, um, Aries was in the North Node south node was in your sign libra so it's a lot about understanding our self-worth what we deserve and not settling for anything less i see you guys really stepping into your power for some of you guys what's happening is even when we're talking about worthiness i see some of you guys standing up at work so this could be if you feel like they've been taking advantage of you or they haven't given you that raise or they just haven't noticed the hard work that you could be working at the same company for the past 10 years and you've never had a raise or something like that. I see you guys having this aha moment where you stand up for yourself and you speak up. And the moment that you start to do that is the moment that everything starts to line up for you to bring to you the blessings that you deserve, Libra. But there is massive transformation. Unfortunately for some of you guys, again, the new version of yourself is going to come at the cost or expense of you walking away from relationships or connections that are no longer serving you. So for some of you guys, it means there are certain endings that are happening when it comes to relationships, especially if they are toxic, especially if you've been dealing with people that have been betraying and taking advantage of you, Libra. All right, my loves, so moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is coming towards Scorpio for this Lion's Gate portal that's happening August the 8th. 2024 what is coming towards scorpio sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with scorpios scorpio sun moon rising venus if you guys don't follow my other social medias i encourage you guys to do so i am on everyday basis connecting with all of you guys on there all right we have the six of swords the dove card the sun card wow powerful energy here Oof. all right Okay. All right, Scorpio. What I'm seeing here for a lot of you guys, you're, I'm going to be honest, immediately what I heard, you guys are ending karmic cycles. So uh, I'm going to break it down for, for you guys. <laughs> it's a lot to unravel. Let me sip on some of my fucking coffee because it's a lot. It's heavy ass energy. I felt it immediately when I pulled out the duff card. Okay. All right, Scorpio. This is for those of you guys that 
have been either single for the past three years or for others of you, you've been in a relationship, but you've been dealing with someone from the past, whether it's casual, whether it's social media, whatever it is. You guys have had difficulty letting go of things from the past and you've allowed them to, for some of you guys, even get closer to you than you guys were like, let's say a couple of months ago. It's almost like there is a connection that's been like happening, even for those of you guys that are in relationships. What I'm seeing here is you're starting to understand that they that the reason why you hold on to them is not so much because of the love. It has more to do with the fact that you miss the old version of yourself before you were tainted or before you were let down. So you're realizing that you're not necessarily missing people from the past. You're missing the person that you were before you became so guarded. So there, it's almost like they are a reminisce moment or a, what's the word I'm looking for? Or the idea of who you were in the past, it, it, there's almost like innocence to it. And that's the reason why you've had such difficulty walking away or letting go or no longer like basically cutting off communication. Now, what's coming to you is the realization that this person that you've been dealing with has not changed. So you're going to feel a bit of betrayal or for some of you guys, a feeling of being let down and saying or telling yourself, here we go again, or I knew that this was happening. And for some of you guys, I'm not going to lie. The reason why you guys kept this communication or this connection was because you wanted to prove to yourself that this person never changed. So it's almost like you were doing it more so out of spite to feel like to feel like, yeah, that's right. They came back or there's something that is connected to your shadow side of wanting to feel vindicated for some of you guys. Um, but you're quickly coming to the realization that this person is hasn't changed for one and two, they're not worth your time anymore. So you are, you're choosing to walk away from this situation because you're finding your happiness or your peace or whatever happiness you consider happiness to be or stability for some of you guys. You're choosing that than this chaos and this hurt and this past and these traumas that keep you holding on to that person. So there's going to be a moment of reflection for some of you guys realizing that you've gotten past the point of wanting to keep dealing with them and you're just deciding for some of you guys it could be doesn't have to be relationships it could just be family you know the four of wands with the queen of cups here um and the hierophant could definitely be signifying when it comes to relationships in the family dynamic um for some of you guys it's realizing you know what i'm no longer going to be putting my nose where it's not my business or trying to have people's back when all they're doing is bringing drama and chaos to my life and you're choosing to walk away from that you're choosing to silence the noise because you're wanting expansion you're wanting growth the sun the four of wands the ace of wands you know what i mean like you're wanting growth and expansion for some of you guys peace it's that simple for some of you guys it's just peace and tranquility that you're wanting so it's going to come at the cost of cutting heads off. <laughs> you're going to be like, let them heads roll. Like you're cutting those toxic strings with people that have abused your loyalty or have abused your selflessness for some of you. And you're not caring anymore. You're not caring. You're choosing your sanity. You're choosing your peace. And this is going to align you towards a more harmonious and more fulfilled life. Powerful energy here, Scorpio, but it is heavy. So wishing you guys the very best. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I had to think about it there for a minute. <laughs> Sagis, what's going on with you guys? <laughs> All right, let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is coming towards them for this Lionsgate portal? What is coming towards Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? 
Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. All right, here we go, Sagis. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, let's get to the nitty-gritty here. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Three of Swords keeps coming out for a lot of you guys. I feel like this Lionsgate's Porto, what's what's going to be happening and the theme that I'm seeing for most of the signs that I've been reading so far is that you're realizing that past hurts have a lot to do with what you're choosing to continue experiencing right now. So the realization of that is almost having like an awakening where you're realizing it you're understanding it and you're no longer allowing it therefore realigning yourself to a higher vibration a higher version of yourself ultimately um what i'm seeing here for you sagittarians is for some of you guys you could be experiencing almost feeling like you guys have been pulled towards different directions or like a lot of things are happening at once in your life for some of you guys it could be that relationships are going good and then you start to struggle financially. For others of you, it could be that you're doing good financially, but then you start to struggle when it comes to family dynamics and connections. And the reason for this is because there is a lot of imbalance that's happening. And the reason for this imbalance has everything, absolutely everything to do with your faith, um, with your faith, sorry, with your faith in yourself, Sagittarius. So the center you see all this craziness but right at the center we have the eight of swords and the eight of swords is an indication of being bound or feeling like you're stuck but it's a mental card because it's swords so it's realizing for some of you guys where at wherever area in your life you felt stuck or you felt like there just hasn't been momentum or movement you're realizing that you have the power to change that by the simple fact of putting energy or effort towards removing yourself from that mentality. It's all mental. So I'm going to be honest, what I'm seeing here for a lot of you guys is, especially those of you guys that have been dealing with like partners, connections, relationships, even family dynamics of people being extremely toxic. I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarians, at some point you felt like, People have a tendency or they have a habit of belittling you or making you question your intelligence or make you like they like to make you feel less than. And by them doing that, it's a way of manipulation. It's a form of manipulation because it's almost like they don't give credit where credit is due. Like, let's say you're doing an amazing job at work and you get a raise and instead of getting home and celebrating with your partner, your partner will tell you, well, it was about time. It's almost like they're they're always minimizing the progress that you make. And it's you realizing for some of you guys, it's going to be painful because for some of you, it could be people that you really admire or people that you really care for. This could even be your children. But you're realizing that a lot of a lot of that has everything to do with like this is how people can actually it's almost like you're seeing it on full display that the reason why they do this is because they manipulate you and by doing that they get away with what they're wanting to get from you or you know what i'm saying because what i'm being shown here is almost like a reoccurring theme of your love and devotion or loyalty to people that have a tendency of really creating and stirring up a lot of drama and it comes down to worth and it is the doubting of your worth and it's like they consciously continuously keep hurting you which is what keeps you there and you're realizing or you will be realizing uh-huh this is why they do this, or this is why they talk down, or this is why they're constantly critiquing me. It's almost like, and, and I said painful because with the three of swords here and the eight of pentacles, I feel like for some of you guys, you've excused these behaviors in people because you care for them or because you love them or because it's your kids or because it's your husband, your wife, whatever it is. Um, but you're realizing that no, 
it's not just the backhanded compliment. It's because that's their way of triggering you. And the moment they trigger you, it's like you, they make you feel very little where you doubt yourself and your capabilities and give in to whatever it is that they're wanting to get from you. Or for some of you, a way of shutting you up because you are trying to stand up for yourself and speaking up. Hey, what's going on? You know, you've been getting home late lately, like what's going on? And immediately they kind of try to stab you instead of giving you an explanation it's almost like they are quick to turn around the situation and make it seem like you're the crazy one or it's like it's your fault so i feel like you're being awakened in this aspect of seeing the truth behind their people's uh, tactics and manipulations and you're freeing yourself from that even if it comes at cutting those connections for some of you guys, if it is family dynamics, it can also represent you cutting out your kids, especially if you financially help them. For some of you guys, it's like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this no more. You're, you're choosing to be respected whether they like it or not. And if they don't, you're just not going to deal with that. So it's a very empower, powerful and empowering energy, Sagittarius, but it, it, it's kind of like you guys are, you know, the blindfold is coming off you guys' eyes. And sometimes that process can be difficult and it can be painful, especially when it's people that you really trust. Um, but either way, always know that the universe has your back. And if it's happening this way, it's because it's needed for you to see and to fully understand. Sometimes, I, you know, when I'm dealing with clients and I'm having difficult readings, one of the things they always say is, I, I want to have proof. I want to see it. And I'm like, okay, that's easier said than done. But when you actually experience it or when you actually see it or when you actually walk in and a loved one talking bad about you, it's painful. So again, it may be painful, but it's necessary for you to realize that at this point, okay? All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is coming towards them for this Lionsgate portal? What's happening for them? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Cappies. If you guys like these videos, like, comment, let me know. And I'm curious, what are you guys trying to manifest in the next coming days? Comment below. I will be going through the comments. All right, Cappies, what's going on with you guys? One more shuffle, thank you. All right, here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Cappies, let's see. <clears throat> oh. All right, Capricorn. What I'm seeing for you guys is if you were dealing with a situation where you felt like the person you were dealing with... Um, had lost interest for some of you guys you probably felt like they weren't being completely honest they weren't but i'm going to break it down for you the reason why they weren't being honest is because they felt or they're what they had some type of insecurity issues where they feel like you could do better or like you have options and it's almost the energy of like before capricorn walks away i'm just going to give up or i'm going to just stop trying um, because they know you have such high expectations. They know that that was going to bring the imbalance in the relationship and you probably started giving them the cold shoulder. What's happening is that there is almost this realization of, I am realizing now that it's Capricorn, the one I want. So they're coming back around, but they're actually giving you a commitment for some of you. For others of you, they're actually giving you um clarity in regards to the connection or in regards to the relationship the majority of you guys though i feel like especially if you've been dealing with someone that either told you they weren't looking for anything serious or if they told you um that they've been busy and that's the reason why they haven't really you know communicate it's not that it's bullshit what it is is that they know for some of you guys you're out of their league <laughs> let's just be honest for others of you it's that they know that you have high expectations because you know your worth. 
Um, so it's almost like when a person has insecurity issues, what happens is that whether they're aware of it or not, they will start to kind of make it difficult or they will go into this energy of self-sabotaging. So I feel that that's what they purposely did because they felt like at some point you would be the one to either walk away or choose someone else. But I feel like the fact that you didn't either chase them and for others of you, it's almost like because I heard you're giving them the cold shoulder or you're not communicating or if they're texting you, you're probably not responding as quickly as you would and they're noticing that. Well, that's put them on panic mode where they're realizing, okay, I do have I do have feelings for Capricorn. I can't get them out of my head. I can't stop thinking about them. What the fuck am I doing? Am I going to let them or let someone else have the opportunity of romancing them or sweeping them off their feet or am I going to fight for it? And I feel like almost like a fire's been lit under their ass. So they're coming back around. And for a lot of you guys, like I said, even if you felt like this deal, this deal, um, you haven't had clarity or you haven't had any type of commitment, I feel like they're coming back around and they're either giving you the commitment or they're wanting to make things official at this point. Um, and it's because of that. It's because they're realizing, you know what? Capricorn was this way. They treated me this way. Um, obviously, they must have liked me. Why did I, you know, ghost them or why did I pull back or why this or why that? Why didn't I just open up to them? And for some of you guys, I feel like a confession is coming towards you guys. So for those of you guys that maybe if this person's never told you what they actually feel about you, that's what's happening. That's what's coming towards you. <laughs> uh, they're spilling the beans. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For this Lionsgate's portal, what's coming towards them? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming towards them? Let's see what's going on with my Aquas. I asked a bunch of people on my Snapchat and Instagram because the next podcast is going to be us talking about the zodiac signs and dating them, right? Um, and a lot of people really were dragging you Aquarians. <laughs> they were like, oh my goodness, Aquarians are horrible. I was just laughing because on a personal level, I've dealt with a lot of Aquarians and I have a lot of, actually I have like four friends that are Aquarians and I adore you guys. Um, I do have placements in Aquarius, so that could be the reason, but I just love you guys' energy and your intellect is off the chain, which I admire very much. Um, but it, it was just very crazy for me because the people that I know that are Aquarius, they're, they're not players. They're not, they, they're just nonchalant, you know what I mean? <laughs> but when they like you, they go hard. All right. That was funny. Anyways, Aquarius. Okay, so it's coming towards you. For some of you guys, it's you the one that's having realization of a person that perhaps you've kept a distance for others of you maybe it's a friend maybe it's someone that has been in your surroundings for a while um for some of you guys it's realizing that you do have the hots for a friend and even though you've tried to not go there at this point you're realizing you're just going to go for it um for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with, um, oh, did I say Aries? Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I see all the signs here, really. But what they are showing me here is you've, and it's funny because I said you guys are so nonchalant. I feel like you guys have been playing this part of like keeping it cool or like being friends with someone, but you're really interested in them, but you don't want them to know or you don't want to reveal your feelings for them. And this has really driven you insane or it will be driving you insane in the next couple of days where you're like, okay, I think that I'm better off just like expressing at this point, I need to take some type of action. And I see you guys like really jumping the gun and being like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. 
Um, now, it could be the other way around. It is a general reading. So for some of you guys, do not be surprised if you've been like not knowing that a friend or someone that's close to you has been having major feelings for you. And it could even be a person that you've like had physical connection with. An example, it could be a friend. For some of you guys, it could be a situation where it was like just physical, like a fuck buddy or, you know, that type of situation. Or maybe in the past you, you know, you guys had drinks you partied a little too hard and you crossed that line. But then after that, you guys pretend like it didn't happen. Um, I feel like it, it's almost the realizing that you, in fact, do have feelings for this person. And whatever kept you from, you know, pushing forward with it, I feel for a lot of you guys, the majority of you guys probably had something to do with fear. Either this person intimidates you or... Um, which is rare because I never see people, you know, really intimidate Aquarians. Um, but I feel like there's something about this person that really triggers you in a positive way. And I feel that in that triggering, there was a, maybe a fear of rejection or maybe a fear of like, what if they don't want to jeopardize the friendship, then I'm gonna look like a fool type of thing. But I feel like around either now or in the next coming days, you guys are like, taking action towards that and I feel like the the moment you do you're going to realize that this person has been feeling the exact same way now like I said um take what resonates uh if it's not you it's probably them that they're just going to take that leap of faith and they will be revealing to you their feelings what they actually feel for you for a lot of you guys especially those of you guys that you know will hear from this person or that this person will confess their feelings for you I feel like it's gonna throw you off because what I'm hearing is you've known this person for a while so it could have been that you've been dealing with this person for a long time maybe they're in your social circle maybe it's a friend maybe it's someone that you least expect um, but I feel like the connection or the attraction is mutual um, maybe it was just unbeknownst to you so Good luck with that, Aquarius. I'm like, Aquarius, you're intimidated? What? Crazy. All right, moving on here. I do find that in Aquarians, though. You guys are strangely attracted to people that are not very easy to read. Um, it's probably that intellect in you, you know? <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is coming towards Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to be doing another reading for you guys of what the person feels for you, the person you're dealing with, or the person you're not in contact with but is on your mind. All right, here we go. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is coming towards you, what opportunities are coming your way on this Lionsgate portal that's happening August 8th, 2024. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Pisces. All right, here we go. Oof. Okay. All right, Pisces. I just thought of I just thought of the question that I posted on my Instagram and on my Snapchat about the zodiac signs and a lot of people, especially girls, were talking about Pisces men. Um which I was surprised, honestly. Uh, there is a lot of traits about Pisces men that is kind of, you know, triggering for a Capricorn gal like me. Um, but I've always found them to be extremely transparent, um, which was not the experience of everyone else. <laughs> I found that to be crazy. Anyways, all right. All right, Pisces, this is heavy, okay? So I feel like there is a realigning of your destiny. And what I mean by this is for a lot of you guys, I want to say the past five years, or within a five-year time span, 
a lot of you guys have been going down a path that wasn't right for you. And the reason why some of you guys could have taken this path could have been because of circumstances or because of a connection or relationship. It's almost like it kind of derailed your path, changed your perspective, or changed your wants and needs. And it's not because of good change. It's more because you kind of did it because you want to accommodate the person or the people that you're surrounding yourself with. You're realizing at this point that it doesn't resonate with you or that it doesn't make sense. For some of you guys, you could be in a marriage. For others of you, you could be in a long-term committed relationship where you've been wanting commitment or a higher elevation of commitment. And I'm not just talking about like actual marriage. I'm talking about to actually feel like the person is committed to you. And you're just not seeing that or there is a revelation that is happening for some of you where you're realizing that you're not going to get that from this person. So for some of you guys, this understanding, this think of it as spiritual downloads that are coming your way is because it's trying to guide you towards the path that you should in fact be on. Now. For some of you guys, it's going to come at the cost of ending relationships. For others of you, it's going to come at the cost of ending that old version of yourself. Um, it's almost like the universe does. It, it, think of it this way, okay? And, and I'm trying to explain it the best way I possibly can, but I'm getting like a thousand messages at a time, okay? So let's take it back a bit. You've been a victim of a situation or you've been a victim of situations that have put you in a position where you've either settled or you, you've put up with fuckery long enough and you it just doesn't make sense to you. You feel like it's not worth it no more. You're just tired of it. You're sick of it. For others of you, you're realizing you deserve better, point blank, period. And when this is happening, it's almost like the universe is bringing or opening up the book and showing you who these people really are. And when I say people, I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about people around you that you've chosen to have around you. This could be friends. This could be family. This could be relatives. This could be, you know, extended family, whatever. It's. It's realizing that you've always had the power, Pisces, to change your life around or to change your circumstances around, but it's easier for us to falter into the mentality of saying, poor me, why does it only happen to me? Why this? Why that? That's been your previous mentality. That's been your past mentality. You're stepping into your power, Pisces. You're stepping into your power and you're realizing, you know what? I know what the fuck I deserve and I'm not going to settle for anything less. Or I know what I deserve and I don't deserve this type of fuckery. So I'm walking away from that. This is Jupiter's energy. This is Venus energy. It's like your destiny is changing because you're realizing that all this time you've been enslaved to your thoughts, to your fears. You've been vibrating from fear. Right now you're feeling like you are at crossroads. your understanding that you have knowledge that you have power that you've put other people more valuable than you or you've convinced yourself that other people that it's more important for other people to accept you than to you accept yourself and you're like fuck this shit not doing that no more i am the empress I am the emperor. I know what I deserve. You're stepping into your power. You're realizing that this needs to change. Now, do not be surprised, you guys. For some of you guys, like I said, death card right at the center. There's endings that are happening whether you like it or not, whether you're ready or not. And it can come. Um, 
as a revelation about your partner, what your partner's been doing for some communicating for a very long time with outside people, meaning outside of the relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is this is something you've known. You've been aware, right? But at this point, you understand that you want structure, you want stability, and you're not going to hesitate to walk away from what is not bringing to you empowerment, confidence, right? If all they're doing is bringing you down, if all they're doing is triggering all of those insecurities, making you question, am I overthinking of it? Or they're quick to tell you you're crazy. You start to believe it. Then you start to doubt yourself. Then you no longer feel comfortable to even ask them something because they turn it around and make you feel like you're the, you're the one that's overthinking. You're the psycho one. You're this, you're that. You're not having it no more. You're standing your ground. You're standing in your power. And in this process, destiny is taking hold now. Your true destiny, your true calling, your true partnership. Powerful energy here. But again, the lovers is not just relationships. The lovers is a representation of being at crossroads. It is being at a, like literally being or sitting or standing at a fork trying to decide if you're making a right or a left. And then, boom. And destiny's going to push you towards the direction you should be on. Powerful energy here, Pisces. My loves, put your intentions out there. Really use this portal to bring to manifestation the things that you guys are wanting, that what you've been working on, what you've been trying to manifest, now is the time to do so. All right, moving on here. Let's, oh, 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 shit. All right, let's keep it pushing here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, you guys are also popular in the what zodiac was the worst you dated. <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I adore me some Aries. Adore me some Aries and Leo men. <laughs> But I've always had amazing experiences with Aries and most of those experiences have been major commitments. So I cannot relate when people say, you know, Aries are players. Yes, when they're young, they like to play the field only because they're very intense and passionate. But once an Aries is committed to you, they are committed, committed, and they will fight for you. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess you guys have left people sour taste in their mouth fairies <laughs> what's going on with you guys oh my goodness that's funny okay let's see what's going on with the aries what's coming towards them um on this lion's gate portal that's happening august 8th 2024 where are the messages for aries sun moon raising venus aries sun moon raising venus let's see all right here we go aries let's see what is happening for you guys oh shit oh snap oh <laughs> Aries you guys are the ones that have really been like massive transformations for a lot of you guys especially with Chiron sitting there in your sign right some of you guys may feel like you've been dragged this year but it's only for empowerment and it's only to give to you what you've been wanting it's about healing those traumas all right what am i seeing here off the bat there is <laughs> all right i'm going to take it aback okay let me have some coffee first aries because some heavy shit i already know it's gonna be long okay you guys have certain things that you have a tendency of self-sabotaging, whether it's career, whether it's your finances, whether it's relationships. And it all comes down to trauma, okay? Now, like I said, Chiron has been sitting in your sign, so it's going to force you to deal with those traumas. 
whether you've tried to work through it, and for some of you guys, you are still working through it, or whether you haven't and you've negated that and you've just tried to, you know, free dog life and, and just, you know, raw dog it, <laughs> you've had a lot of shakeups because of this. And it comes down to realizing that your progress or your happiness or your aspirations have not happened or have not fully manifested for you because of your guardness, because of how you choose to guard yourself and because of how you choose to be stuck in the same scenario, in the same situation. This could be relationship wise. This could be that you've had multiple um, people you've dated, but it all comes down to the same issue. So it's almost like dating the same, the same person, just in a different body. And you're realizing that this, or you're really, you're realizing this now. So again, if this is career wise, you're realizing, well, there is a habit within you to be very fast paced, to be very quick, very, you know, for some of you guys, let me give you a couple of examples. For some of you guys, you've had difficulty when it comes to your finances and career because you don't stick long enough to actually see the results of it. For others of you, it's relationships. And it's that you don't get to a place of feeling contentment and happiness because you don't allow yourself to do so. You rush into connections, you rush into the physical aspect without really realizing or without giving yourself enough time to actually get to know the person. And once you're in a relationship, you realize you have nothing in common with them. Or you realize that it is nothing what you thought. Or you realize that it's just not passion. You know what I mean? You have to deal with other things. And it's too much for you. So in this understanding, you're elevating yourself. And by elevating yourself, you are taking a leap of faith. You are understanding this on a deeper conscious way or level where you're realizing a lot of it had to do with as quickly as you go into something is as quickly as you go out. And you're realizing, shit, should I have stayed? I could have seen massive results. Damn it, I missed an opportunity here. You're realizing this. And in realizing this, what's happening is that you are aligning yourself to the highest version of yourself. Not only that, but you are fully embracing, you know what, I am worthy. You know what, I am deserving. You know what, I do deserve to be happy. For some of you guys, this is childhood shit that's happened, okay? Traumas whether it was mental or emotional or physical abuse in childhood, um, that you've carried this for a very long time and you try to unleash it to the world or you try to unleash it to those that get close to you or want to get close to you because you still haven't mended that. You still haven't healed that. And you're realizing this now. And for some of you guys, you're realizing it because there is in fact a connection. Or for others of you, you're realizing that a lot of blessings are starting to come into your life or opportunities, but the only way to fully embrace it is to actually stick long enough to see the result of that. For some of you guys, it's, for some of you guys, it could be a connection that you've refused for a while. And it's almost like destiny stepping in and they're showing you through actions or you're seeing this person and everything, everywhere you go, you're seeing them around, you're seeing name, you're seeing, you know, synchronicities that are happening and it's because it's the universe telling you Aries why is it that you feel like you must shit on everything that get that comes your way and you're realizing well it's not really about that person it's more to do with how I feel or the anger or the hurt I've been carrying for a very long time you're freeing yourself from that you're walking away or you're choosing to heal those aspects to you that are not only going to empower you but that it's going to be your biggest blessing because that's when your life transforms. You have the full card. You have the sun card. You have the death card. Massive transformation. Massive blessings coming your way. Three of pentacles. Two, the lovers. The ace of swords. You're being honest with yourself. The moment you're honest with yourself, everything else starts to fall into line. 
whether it's relationships, whether it's realizing that the person that you've been playing, um, like you don't care for, or like you don't have emotions for, you're realizing this is a person that actually makes your soul vibrate, or this is the person that actually, you know, balances you out, or this is the person that is actually making you miss them or making, and I don't say making, I mean like you actually miss them. You actually want to be around them. You actually want to be a better person. If this is in career and finances, you're realizing, for some of you guys, you're realizing your passion. If you've been searching for your purpose, you guys are finding it with this Lion's Gates portal opening. You're finding your purpose. Doesn't matter your age. Doesn't matter if you're 60. Doesn't matter if you're 70. If it's something that it's very, very deep in your core and grave that you've always felt like you can find your purpose, you're finding it. You're finding your your purpose, your motivation, what feeds your soul. You're finding it. And you're being truthful and honest with yourself and you're following your bliss. And in following your bliss, you're following your happiness. Powerful energy here, Aries. I feel like you guys have been getting very powerful messages lately. All right. Moving on here, let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this Lion's Gate portal happening August 8th, 2024. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any spiritual work, you can find all of the links on the description box below. I get... Uh, comments on my older videos uh of how to contact me i'm not sure if i've gone that far back to actually put the links on there but i think i need to because i've been getting a lot of comments of that lately all right let's see what's going on here with taurus if you guys don't follow my other social medias i highly encourage you to find me on tiktok snapchat and instagram all right let's see what's going on Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Taurus. What is coming towards you guys? Let's see. Oof. <laughs> Passion is coming towards you, <laughs> Taurus. All right, so... For those of you Taurus out there that have felt like life has been a bit ordinary, colorless, lifeless, that's going to be quickly changing, okay? <laughs> now, for those of you guys that are single out there, wink, wink, I know a few, I am ecstatic to tell you that there is passion and intensity coming your way, and you're going to start to experience that in the next coming days. Now, with the lovers, the death, and the strength card here, what they're showing me is, for some of you guys, it could be a Scorpio energy, a Leo energy, a Gemini energy, a Sagittarius, Aries energy here, Earth energy. I see pretty much all the signs here. But what they're showing me is you are stepping into your power, Taurus, and you are deciding, okay? This is what I heard. Taurus, you're deciding that you want to be happy. And you're going to do whatever it takes to get you to that happy zone. And for a lot of you guys, it's realizing that you are either ready for a commitment or that you're ready for love. And for some of you guys, you've been hesitant about this because of your previous experiences. Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords, painful difficulty, feeling like you were taken advantage, feeling like you were left out in the cold, Strength card. You created your ego, right? Ego is not necessarily a bad thing, you guys. It has a very negative cognitation, but it doesn't. Ego is, think of ego as your defense mechanism. It is what your subconscious creates to protect you. So through this hardship and difficulty, you've created your ego, which created the walls, which created your delulu of thinking you don't want a relationship or you don't want commitment or you don't want to deal with other people. You focus primarily on yourself. You're going to be thriving, but in this thriving, you're realizing it would be nice if I had someone by me, or it would be nice if I was to share this moment in time with someone. You're realizing things about life 
that it is almost very fulfilling to be able to experience through someone else's eyes. So again, passion starts to come in. For a lot of you guys, you're already seeing people are, are being more drawn to you. People are flirtatious with you. People are just being drawn to your energy. And in this process, you start to open yourself up and opportunities start to come towards you. Now, for some of you guys, what I'm hearing is there is a connection that's coming, maybe an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Doesn't have to be their sun sign, could be their moon or rising. There could be a connection that happens around the month of August where you guys hit it off, everything is great, and then it turns physical very quickly. It's hot and heavy type of energy. Um, this is not necessarily a bad thing, and I know that sometimes I tell certain signs, you know, if it's if it's something that goes to physical really quick, it's like, just be cautious. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that you, like that is your safest route, or you take it as a safe route, right? Because you're, you're wanting to feel like a man or you're wanting to feel like a woman. So you're like, you know what? I need that passion. I'm down for it. You go with the flow. And in going with the flow, you realize you guys actually do genuinely, authentically vibe with each other. And it may actually, in fact, turn into a relationship. So again, it's not the message of don't take it to the bedroom right away. It's actually, I feel like for some of you guys, you're doing that because that's your way of tiptoeing towards convincing yourself you're ready for a relationship, but then boom, it happens. Do you get what I'm saying? So awesome energy. <laughs> and again, you know, uh, the lovers, the death and the strength card, it is major transformation in your love life, specifically your bedroom. So again, passion, intensity, um, and it may start off as sneaky or it may start off as let's keep it secret. Let's keep it on the down low. Um, but you guys then actually realize that you vibe and you actually do, in fact, like each other and want to see each other, uh, not just in the night, but in the day. <laughs> so awesome energy again. Um, now, I do want to make it very clear for those of you Taurus out there that are married or in a committed relationship, be careful. Because I do see you guys being very, very tempted in the month of August of embracing a new fling or a new passionate encounter that may come at the expense of the relationship that you have now. So be mindful of that, okay? All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming towards them on this Lionsgate portal that's happening August 8th, 2024? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you guys. What is coming towards you? All right. Hmm. Huh. All right, so what I'm hearing is immediately with the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, you could have been dealing with the fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, it could have been a person that you were either in a committed relationship with or something that you were long-term in, where maybe there's a separation, maybe there's distance, maybe there's actual physical distance, um, but they've been giving you a lot of mixed signals or you've been feeling extremely confused about the situation. It's almost like they're stringing you along. And I say almost uh, very um, sarcastically because they have, in fact, um, been stringing you along. And you're realizing this. Uh, you're realizing that you're no longer going to allow people to use you or to abuse you. Um, and when I say abuse, I do mean this person that if you're connecting with this message, you know exactly who I'm talking about because this is a person that really gives low blows. You know, this is a person that will go really low to hurt your feelings or to, you know, make you feel less than. Um, and in this process, I feel like there is, I'm going to be honest, I feel like you're realizing a lot of things that have been happening while you haven't been around for some of you guys what they've been doing behind your back. And in this realiza realization that's happening, you're choosing to no longer entertain that situation. Now, for other others of you Geminis out there, okay, this is going to be 
not necessarily for a lot, but take what resonates. If you've been messing around with someone that you've been very aware they are in a committed relationship or they are in fact married, I feel like around this time or by the end of August, their partner will be finding out and this person is going to be quick to be put out and they're quick to come back around and create some type of fantasy. So for some of you guys, if you are connecting with this, connect with this message, if anything, okay? I hope you've been taking care of yourself because if you haven't, this person, the moment they're put out, is coming back around saying or claiming that either they're pregnant or they are coming back around trying to fuck with your reputation because their, reputa their reputation is tarnished. So it's almost like they're wanting or seeking your help or refugee or for you to take them in because they have nowhere to go. Um, and what they're telling you here is don't throw yourself or don't put yourself in a predicament where it's not because of love. It's not because it's, it's none of that. This is toxic. <laughs> this is toxic. Okay. The world card with the devil card. You need to end this. All right. You need to end this because it will definitely impact your finances, your way of living, or your reputation. Either one, if you ask me, are fucking important. So um, make sure, like I said, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but make sure that if you are dealing with someone or have been dealing with someone that is in a committed relationship or that is, for some of you guys, it could even be that this person told you, yeah, we live together, but we haven't been together in a long time. Like, it's bullshit. And you and I both know that, Gemini, so... Walk away from that, okay? Because if not, it's going, I feel like it's going to come up and it's going to blow up in your face. And then on top of that, this person is trying to like, colgarte los mandaditos, <laughs> like we say, uh, which is pretty much hang all this responsibility on you, okay? So be mindful of that. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, last but not least. If you guys are interested in any personal services, any readings, or any spiritual work, you can find all of that on the description box below, or at the end of the video, there is a link. All right, let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this Lion's Gates portal. What's coming towards them, spirits? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. Cancer, one more shuffle. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Cancers. Let's see what's coming towards you. All right. Oh. Oof, 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 oof. okay. Immediately, I'm seeing two queens here, so rumors, speculation. Um, you could have been dealing with someone that recently you are in no longer contact with or there is some type of distancing or there is, in fact, uh, physical distance between you guys. Um, and it's someone that you've really wanted to progress this connection or this relationship. I feel like they haven't been completely honest with you and they could be or could have been dealing with someone else or could have been in communication with someone else. Um but what I'm seeing here is, uh, I'm going to be honest, you guys. Okay. What I heard is for some of you guys, you will be knowing about this other person because you accidentally either go through their phone and you're going to be like, Pinky, how do you accidentally go through someone's phone? I feel like there's going to be some type of notification. That's what I'm being shown. The cell phone, the light turns on, notification, and then you are able to read or you're able to see something um, that is showing you that this person has been dealing with someone else or has been communicating. I don't see physical. I just see communication. Um, but I feel like it's it's bringing to surface the issue where there's been, com not commitment, there's been like doubts and insecurities in the relationship on both spectrums, meaning on your side and on your partner's side, where it's coming to surface and you guys are going to have to address it head on but I feel that the moment you guys address it 
it will bring clarity to you guys and it will also bring to you guys the understanding that you guys have been on the same page it's just that you both felt in the relationship like you guys weren't being heard so it's a falter of miscommunication um it could have been potentially that your partner was you know just wanting to vent to someone and you weren't listening to that um so they felt the need to connect with someone else for others of you it could be you that you get kind of caught up and then it brings that conversation it's almost like i'm hearing uncomfortable conversation but it's something that's been brewing underneath for quite a while so you guys are able to address it head on and i feel like in this addressing you're realizing that you guys still want the same things that you guys are still passionate about the same things that you guys have the same vision towards the future towards your desires with each other so it's solidifying the relationship i know it sounds crazy but now for some of you guys it could be something that you've been dealing with where there is a bit of insecurity because of you know you noticing or finding out that they were talking to someone on social media or text or vice versa they found you out and it's almost like you guys have been tiptoeing around it i feel like you guys are in the month of august definitely going to address it you're putting the cards on the table. You're having that uncomfortable conversation. But I feel like it is all a cause of miscommunication and misunderstanding. To be honest, it's almost like you guys have a very different love language. And that's been the barrier. That's been the obstacle. That's been the difficulty. But being able to talk about it and get through it is going to solidify this relationship. It's going to strengthen this relationship. It's going to take it to the next level. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did like, share, comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and, um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming your way. Like I told you guys, I am more proactive <laughs> and I will be going live sometime next week. I will be announcing it. I know that I do it sporadically, but I will try to find it in my calendar to actually go on here and do readings live. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.